Okay, once again, uh, thank you everybody for joining us today. Um, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules. Uh, I know it's a bit of a task here, but uh, we are quite excited uh, to be joined by uh, Mr. Paul Saba from uh, Leon Speaker Company uh, and Leon Commercial. Um, I'm going to hand it over to Paul here shortly. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping uh, things here to cover. Uh, we're going to leave all questions until the end. Uh, if anybody has any questions, though, while we're going, just go ahead and uh, punch them into the question bar, uh, and then we will uh, we'll go over those uh, when we get to the end. Uh, other than that, I'm going to hand it over to uh, Paul. Very good. Thank you, and thanks, everybody, for joining us today. I'm going to take you through a fairly short presentation to introduce our company, show you the products and solutions that we are developing now for the commercial market, and then at the end, I'll show you some examples and case studies of projects that we've executed successfully. So let's begin. And just to explain who we are, we are uh, Leon Speakers. We manufacture loudspeakers in Ann Arbor, Michigan, near Detroit in the United States. We've been doing so now for the past 21 years. Um, most of our pedigree has been, for the history of our company, has been in the residential market. But about 10 years ago, we started expanding onto the commercial side, and we've really ridden the wave of unified collaboration, uh, designing and developing and manufacturing audio specifically for telepresence applications, and now for more applications beyond that. I'm going to use some terminology here that you may find unfamiliar with loudspeakers. Uh, for example, we have a palette of products. The reason we use this terminology is because our company was founded by an artist, by a painter. Uh, and we, he and we bring that sensibility into everything that we do um, from the point of customizing all of the products that we manufacture and also being very mindful of how they fit from an aesthetic point of view into the environments in which they are installed. For those palette of products, I'm going to take you briefly through six of them that you see here. We won't do too deep a dive on tech. If you have questions at the end, I'm glad to field them. We always start with what we call program audio, or what we also refer to as the front sound stage. Essentially, the sound that is coming at you from in front of you, typically from a display, and as you can see here in the image, typically in a uh, room that's doing unified collaboration or video conferencing. For that category of product, we offer both horizontal and vertical solutions of audio. Uh, the horizontal we call horizon, the vertical we call profile. I will be showing you examples of each of these as we go forward. And in fact, right from the beginning, here's an example of how we would present uh, audio in the profile format, the vertical format, custom built to the height of a display, uh, and in this case, to a multi-display configuration. Now, video conferencing is really the sweet spot where we have found great success. Uh, the products that we've developed and the solutions that we're developing really speak to this market very, very well. And in conquering that, essentially, we've come in with three different solutions uh, that you see here on the screen. The Horizon Interactive, which you see on the left, is the signature product that we do now, custom built to the width of a display with the ability to house a video conferencing camera right in the speaker, as you see there. So virtually any PTZ speaker can be mounted excuse me, camera can be mounted inside one of our speakers, and then we would custom build to the width of the display. Uh, the beauty there is that you have a nice, clean, complete, finished look. All of the cabling is hidden, um, and everything appears to be customized. In the center, a very unique solution that we've developed now, which is called Horizon Interactive Fit, which is a uh, kind of a version of the Horizon Interactive, but the beauty here is that we've created a steel cage into which we mount our speakers left and right, leaving an area in the center which can then house small form factor electronics, such as amplifiers, Apple TVs, Roku devices, all manner of small form factor electronics can be mounted inside the speaker and then covered with a speaker grill, which is custom width to the display. Then on the right, the Profile Interactive is a vertical uh, orientation for achieving the same result where the speakers are actually vertical, matching the height of the display, and we can mount the VC camera right in there. Now, what I'm showing you now is a little bit of a sneak peek towards something we'll talk about a little bit later. This is an edge media frame. So essentially what we've done here 
is we've created a Horizon Interactive speaker below a multi-display configuration, cameras mounted in the center, and in this case, we've actually enclosed both displays in a cabinet to give it a completely finished look, and we can adapt solutions like these for some of the major technology that exists in the marketplace now. So Cisco Room Kits, Cisco Quad Cams, Crestron Flex can all be mounted inside these housings. The benefits are first and foremost that you have a custom look. So you achieved something that appears to be highly, highly customized. In fact, it is from an appearance point of view. And we've also adapted to the type of camera that's being used. You'll notice here, this is a Horizon Interactive Fit with a small USB type camera that's mounted behind the grill with a small cutout to reveal the lens. I'm gonna show you some examples of some of the projects that we've done here. This is a Horizon Interactive, as you can see in a small boardroom. Again, a completely finished look, customized look, all cabling and wiring are hidden. Here's an example of how we can actually customize the Horizon Interactive for unique orientation. This room happens to be off-center, as you can see, and so we're able to mount the camera off-center, uh, and that's part of the customization process that we go through when we work on projects with you. Now, I had given you a sneak peek earlier of the Edge Media Frame. This is part of the product line that we call Media Decor. Media Decor was a company that we acquired about seven years ago and we're folding all of their operations and products into the Leon commercial sound environment. And what you see here on the screen is an edge media frame. And the edge media frame is unique in the context that it can not only house and enclose the display, it can also enclose the sound bar, which is located below the display in this case. And we also can create space for other electronics, as you can see here, clearly Cisco. Um, and so we have the ability to mount those devices above or below the display, and we have the ability to match the finish of this edge media frame to a finish that's in the room, whether it's the wall or in this particular case, the paint color that's on the table in front of it. In the Media Decor program, we offer three different ways to either encase, in-house uh, displays, or in some cases, cover displays. And these do have applications in commercial environments where a display, for example, in a boardroom might want to be covered with a piece of art and then revealed when there is a conference uh, to be held. So on the left, you see the edge media frame. In this case, we're showing it with a uh, loudspeaker mounted below it. Uh, in the center, you see a moving art screen, which is essentially a piece of art that covers the display. It is running on a Lutron engine, so any control system that can control Lutron will control this device. And you can raise and lower that piece of art uh, electronically. We have about 300 different frame choices and about 3000 different pieces of art that you can use to cover that display. On the right, the edge, excuse me, the art lift, where uh, a client would actually have a piece of art that they want to use to cover a display. In this instance, we're showing you where it splits, it's actually two pieces of art, but in fact, it could be one single piece that could be vertical or horizontal. Now we're gonna to move to the next palette of product. We have focused so far on the front sound stage, on the audio that's coming at you from the display, but I think it's important for us always to point out that we are a audio company. We manufacture the full range of audio products required uh, to fill a room with sound, and in fact, outdoor areas as well, as you'll see shortly. So in this section, what we try to do is focus on the distributed audio or the audio that will fill the rest of the room. And we do so essentially in three ways with in-wall speakers on the left, on-wall speakers in the center, and then in-ceiling speakers on the right. Our Axis series of in-ceiling speakers, we've developed now our professional range of those, which are plenum rated, uh, they come in three different sizes, and they are available with either square or round magnetic grills, and those grills are paintable. And in fact, they're not just paintable, but they can also be customized. By the way, these are the three in-ceiling products that we offer. The grills themselves can be customized, as you see here on the screen. We have a number of clients uh, that have come to us uh, 
asking for us to customize these grills. And in some cases, it could be logos, as you see here. And in other cases, it could just be uh, patterns, wood grain patterns, or an attempt to match the finish that's on the ceiling so that the speaker is less obtrusive. But we do have the ability to customize these uh, in-ceiling speakers as well. Here's some other examples of things that are a little bit more, um, let's say, artistically and aesthetically uh, interesting and pleasing. Uh, we, we find that these products really speak uh, to the design community in a particular way. They seem to like the ability for us to customize these grills in kind of unique and interesting ways. And so if you're working on projects where you need something that is, let's say, outside the norm, then we have the ability to achieve that with you. Now, in terms of uh, filling out the sound, we also offer subwoofers. Subwoofers tend not to be used in unified collaboration setups. However, it's important to point out that we do offer them. And for those commercial spaces where low frequency sound is valued and needed, we do have solutions for those as well. And in fact, we offer three different types of solutions in our subwoofer line. On the left, our ultra thin, uh, which is an extremely thin uh, subwoofer. It's a passive subwoofer that comes in a package with an outboard 1000 watt amplifier and it can be down firing. You can slide it under tables, under pieces of furniture, under couches, and it becomes very unobtrusive in that way. In the center, our in-wall subwoofer, which also comes with a paintable magnetic grill and uh, also comes with a, an outboard amplifier. And then on the right, the powered subwoofer that we offer, which is, let's say, the typical, uh, the typical black box with an onboard amplifier. I had mentioned and hinted earlier about going outdoors. Uh, we do now, uh, because of the acquisitions that we've made, we have created uh, some very nice product lines for outdoor audio. And in fact, the products I'm going to show you now are all IP67 rated. They are incredibly durable and they're uh, usable in all types of weather conditions from the coolest to the hottest. Uh, that was achieved by our acquisition of Terra, which is now a Leon company. Uh, they have been so for approximately two years now. And these products are available through Staub for use in both residential and commercial environments. The product that we focus on a lot in this palette of outdoor audio is the product that I'll show you shortly in our landscape uh, section but it's important just to point out that we offer a, a series of outdoor products including a partial burial subwoofer which you see on the left um, then um, in ceiling and in wall waterproof speakers which tend to be used mainly in marine applications but also sometimes in uh, indoor pool areas and then the landscape section is the product line that we feel has the most interest in the commercial market and that's our lumen sound series that's a, a product where we can deliver both audio and LED lighting in outdoor spaces in an IP67 rated polypropylene housed, incredibly durable speaker. Uh, we can do so in either a 360 halo, which is what you see here, 360 degrees of LED light, or in directional lighting, usually used as down firing. So for pathways, you can actually angle and point the light down towards the paths so that the pathways are lit and are also developing and producing audio as you walk through the pathway. Uh, these are all 70 volt and or eight ohm operation switchable right on the device. And they come in standard green or black, but we can customize colors as well. The CA series, which I mentioned earlier, the in walls come with the opportunity for either square or round grills. Again, IP67 rated available in three different sizes. And here's a, a example or two examples actually of how we can customize further in the outdoor program. Two examples of where we can take the grills themselves and apply logos and or uh, artwork or colors to them. In this case, both of these applications are for breweries. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, they're both in Maine. Um, the Terra company uh, manufactures all their speakers in Maine. Okay, I'm gonna take you through a quick uh, presentation of just a few of the many corporate end users 
that are enjoying using Leon today around the world, literally globally. Uh, this is a, a shortened list, lots of names that you'll recognize, obviously, and there are quite a few names that you don't see on this list. Uh, we're in the process now of some major global rollouts, one of which is for VMware, where we're doing about 200 rooms globally for them, um, telepresence rooms, um, and doing so uh, with some other large corporate end users in different parts of the world. We've seen some tremendous activity in Southeast Asia in the last two years, and in particular, a lot of activity in India, where there are teleconference rooms being built at a very, very rapid pace to support North American corporate end users. Now, I'm gonna show you a few examples of interesting projects that we've done, which are a little bit outside the norm. What I like to do is to show these and encourage you to expand your thinking about what's possible with Leon. While we have a defined set of products in the palette that I showed you earlier, which speak to a particular type of application, primarily unified collaboration, we also do a lot of custom work and it's important for us to present that to you and allow you to think beyond, in a sense, literally and figuratively outside the box. This first example is for Slack, the software company. This is the, a photo of their headquarters in San Francisco, the lobby of their headquarters. Uh, IVCI, which is one of the integrators that we work with, came to us and told us that Slack wanted to build a video wall in their lobby and asked us if we could develop, design, and manufacture an audio array around that video wall. So what you see to the left, right, and above the video wall are Leon speakers, including Leon subwoofers, creating an amazing and very immersive sensory experience when you're in this lobby, both visually and in terms of the audio. Uh, this is an unusual uh, project that we developed, but it, it shows how we can take the audio palette that we currently manufacture and expand beyond that. The second example here, uh, this was uh, executed with Pro Video Systems in Ohio for a company called ProMedica. Uh, a little bit tough to tell from this photo, but I'll just describe to you that their boardroom had a curved set of seating that would go around a table in the center. And so what you see that we've done here is we've actually developed speakers which are curved themselves which were mounted inside this furniture, including subwoofers, so that we could deliver audio to the entire room in a curved uh, form factor. The third example here is a little bit of an unusual uh, product and project that we uh, developed. This is in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where we are housed. There's a restaurant in town that asked us to develop a piece of art went on the wall, as you see it here. In fact, this is what we call a sound sculpture. It's not just a piece of art, but it is also a loudspeaker. And in fact, it also has LED lighting built into it. So you can do lighting effects, uh, deliver amazing audio into this restaurant environment, and do so with something that appears to be a work of art. Where this comes into play in our commercial business is that we have clients who ask us to develop sound sculptures, which are their logos. So for example, in a corporate lobby, you can we can develop something like this, which is the logo of a major corporate end user and place it in the lobby. It's gonna deliver some amazing sound in that space. So with these three examples, I've shown you three very distinct and different examples of how we can go outside the bounds of a normal palette of products and customize specifically for unusual and interesting applications. And so that brings my presentation to an end. I hope that you've got some questions for us. Um, afterwards, of course, we can arrange to have uh, brochures sent to you which present the commercial range, but right now I'd love to be able to take any of your questions. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, oh, it looks like uh, one of our uh, dealers from uh, one of the coldest places in Canada. That's a good <laughs> question. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what the, uh, the the lowest temperature the the outdoor speakers are rated at? Uh, that's a very good question. We we don't rate them for temperature per se. Uh, I can tell you that because they were developed and they are manufactured in Maine, we've got some pretty pretty cold weather, lots of snow and ice there as well. Uh, afterwards, if you'd like, we can arrange to send you a spec sheet 
uh, that details all of the specifications, including the IP67 rating. I'll just tell you uh, one quick thing about these Terra speakers. Um, we've done projects in the coldest of the cold and in the hottest of the hot. The most recent project that I can tell you about is one that we did in the Middle East, in Qatar. Uh, it's a, a, a completely new um, outdoor and indoor area that was developed uh, outside of Doha, and there are pathways that run from building to building that are using the Lumen Sound products with the LED lighting. Um, I like to point that out because that shows you a very, very tough environment. In Qatar and places like the Middle East, you've got extreme heat, extreme humidity, extreme sunlight, salt, and sand. The products are not only surviving in those environments, but they are thriving. Uh, we also have a video that we can show you uh, afterwards, it's actually available on the website, where we actually have frozen a Terra speaker and left it frozen for 30 days and then defrosted it and played the audio right from it. So my quick answer, well, actually my long answer to your short question is we cover the entire gamut of weather and I can give you more specifications uh, afterwards. Awesome. Thank you, Paul. Um, question from Michael, uh, what is the depth needed for the speakers used to surround the TV and uh, video wall? Okay, that's gonna depend on a lot of factors. Uh, we have different depth speakers. I should point out to you, and this is probably something that for some of you is fairly obvious. Creating good sound is about moving air and, and inside a speaker box, you're trying to move air around so that you can actually drive good sound. Now, what's been happening over the years as TVs get thinner and thinner and thinner, the sound quality coming out of the TV itself has become worse because there's almost no air to move. But it also challenges us as a speaker company because we're trying to make speakers that are shallower and shallower and shallower uh, to the extent that we can. And so a lot of the engineering that we've done uses customized drivers and customized crossovers. We don't buy off the shelf uh, components. We have them developed specifically for us to achieve good sound in very, very shallow, flat speakers. So now getting to the specific question that you asked about, it's going to depend on the project. It'll depend on the type of mount that's being used to mount that display to the wall. Um, and it's going to depend on the size of the room and how much audio you need to deliver to the back of the room. But we can get extremely thin. And in many cases, we are ADA compliant. Um, the ADA being the American standard, the American Disabilities Act, uh, but it is a, a four inch uh, maximum depth that we'd be able to achieve. Awesome. Uh, and then it looks like just one more question here. Uh, Craig loves all of your um, your slides, uh, your photos. Thank you, Craig. Um, is this slide deck uh, or any of the, the marketing material available uh, yeah. to be shared with our dealers? Absolutely. Yes. Afterwards, we'll, we'll take care of that. And thank you, Craig. Perfect. Um, Craig, if you just want to send an email or if anybody is interested in the slide deck, uh, just to uh, send it to tech support at stob.ca. Um, and then we can go ahead and uh, uh, figure that out uh, offline. I want to encourage, by the way, and I should have mentioned this earlier, encourage you to visit leoncommercialsound.com. Uh, that is our commercially focused website. We have a separate website for a resi business. Uh, but what you'll see on leoncommercialsound.com, click on the gallery, and there is a wonderful gallery of images of installed projects that we've achieved, showing a lot more than I've shown here today, uh, and a lot of variety of, of those projects. And obviously then, if you're interested in any of the specifications of our speakers, we have a lot of detail there and you can drill right down and, and get some very specific information about audio performance. Great, uh, thanks Paul. Um, unless anybody, oh, just a second. So there's images on Facebook posts as well. Um, Craig, we'll take that offline, okay? We'll just try to figure out the, the, the details with that. Send me an email and uh, we can correspond that way. Uh, if there's not anybody else with any more questions, uh, we're going to thank uh, Mr. Paul Saba here again from Leon, and uh, everybody have a great day. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate you joining us. Thanks very much.